folks. Ha! <laughs> Gator, as usual, <laughs> in the garage. This morning, we got a... It's the Sawzall <laughs> topic. The uh, sad story about the Sawzall. It, uh, first of all, I got to correct a little bit of a... When I did the video talking about the Sawzall and the sad story, I said it was a Milwaukee, it's not a Milwaukee, it's a Makita, it wasn't a cordless, it's a corded Sawzall. Okay, ah, <laughs> come to think of it, yeah, can I just, while well, ramble a little bit here, there's a, come to my attention, I uh, see a few guys talking in there and, uh, they're saying uh, it's hard, eh, when you're getting snow and <laughs> the weather's kind of dull outside there, winter-like. Yeah, it's not much to do, eh? Like, uh, I'm thinking of, uh, well, some guys there, they, they're splitting wood and doing some firewood, eh? And, uh, and they, you seem like they, well, <laughs> I run in, I just want to say, okay? I run into the same problem myself, eh? Like, my most active days was in yesteryear. I'm over 70 now, and uh, <laughs> the best is out of me, eh? It's <laughs> all I'm doing is I, I just do what I feel like doing now, and I don't do what I don't have to do. <laughs> I'm not looking for projects. I'm retired. I'm a retired electrician. Some of you guys know that. And uh, pension now from the IBW, IBEW, International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers, uh, pension uh, <laughs> member, and uh, I don't gotta do nothing. <laughs> I just do. But, okay, I started this uh, YouTube channel and uh, it's been over, I think, over four years now and uh, I don't have a tremendous amount of uh, subscribers. I have a decent amount, though. I have some faithful viewers that have been with me since almost the start. <laughs> but, okay, uh, sometimes I get the feeling like I'm running out of topics. Eh? And I, I have to say, too, is I've noticed true time it smells like uh, something's burning in here I just ground grinding I was just grinding some material a eh, some uh, metal and uh, stainless steel to be exact and uh, doesn't doesn't send off big sparks but it does send off some sparks and uh, I just gotta check around to make sure <laughs> we don't got a fire going in here it's so neat and picked up eh? I know. I just look there, eh? And, and, uh, I just count myself lucky the pile doesn't fall on me, eh? And I got another pile in the back of me here. Ah, yeah. Sometimes I kind of... <laughs> I, I, I kind of wonder, ah, what are, what's the next video going to be all about? But, I come in here, I look around, and there's thousands of stories, okay, like I have to say, I uh, tell a few stories, some stories come to mind, sometimes it's just something that somebody says, eh, and then I get something uh, that pops up, well, just like today, <laughs> well, today there really is a video planned, eh, I don't know if I'm going to get to it, well, I will, okay, but we got to go through this first because somebody mentioned that they, they seem like they're, like they're rehashing the same stuff. They want to bring some variety. I just want to say you're not the only one. Uh, this happens to a lot of people. I, I've noticed one thing me through time is that when people give me an idea to do something, I don't know it's the obstinate or, or the old age or what it is. I can't bring myself, like if I do a video on here, I have to like what I'm doing 
Well, first of all, I do this for fun. It's not for the money it pays, okay? Because I used to have a good paying job. I was foreman, electrician, and a it paid good in its day, eh? So, I, when I retired, I said, but anyway, uh, so, so I don't, I don't know. For some reason, somebody says, I, I, I kind of, it's the contrarian part of me that doesn't really want to, that's not what I care to do. Like, I'm just thinking one thing, uh, as Steve Robb had mentioned, Steve Robb, if you don't know him, check him out, Steve Robb. And uh, he's, uh, <clears throat> if I was agile in this internet stuff, I could make a link, but uh, I can't, so I won't. <laughs> Anyways, he said, hey, gonna, you can build some birdhouses. Yeah, I could. I've done a few in the past, like... Uh, 40 years ago, but I have no, nothing in me that wants to do, maybe if I ever, if, if I ever do a birdhouse, okay, you'll know I'm really running out of stuff to say in here. <laughs> I like, uh, something I, I always concern about that I'm trying to re, I, I call it reinventing myself, I'm trying to get a a new ideas, uh, something interesting, and uh, now today, <laughs> okay, let's get back to our horses and ponies here, eh? Today, we're talking about, hang on, I'll bring you in. Hang on. See this here? This is a Makita, not Milwaukee, Makita. And it's a corded, it's a corded sawzall gonna open it. What you gonna see in here? Well, I'm gonna shortly I'm gonna tell the story. See this? Hang on. Oh, yes, a little bit. See this? There's tons and tons. Hang on. We'll <coughs> see in here. There's almost <laughs> Okay, there's almost no place. There's almost no place for the sawzall. There's so many blades in here. Well, okay. <laughs> no, hang on. I'm always scared that I won't be, I won't be able to close the cover. Right? <laughs> That's the main concern. It's cause, uh, hey, you need, when you got that many blades in here, you need a, uh, but I, I know how to do it because, uh, I used to do it. <laughs> See that? <clears throat> yeah. Now, 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 hang on. I put my face back in here now. <laughs> now that you've seen what we're talking about. I used to have an identical, <laughs> identical tool to this with about, about the same amount of blades. Like, in here, there's work, there, it's, there's warm, more money in blades than the Sawzall costs, okay? Well, <clears throat> the house next door, when I built that, okay, <laughs> I was the... I did part of the framing. I did the, I did the roof, the shingles, electrical work. Uh, didn't do the tin banging stuff. The tin banging stuff. It's uh, my brothers, uh, two guys from my brothers that did the the, the tin banging stuff. Uh, I did the plumbing. Okay, <laughs> we're not gonna tell the house, a house story there. I did the plumbing, and the plumbing when you dig a hole for a house, it starts, it's, uh, they call that the underground, <laughs> okay? That's where your pipes hook up to the city and you, everything's brought in underground, okay? So I was doing the underground one night, one autumn night. This house I built, it was, uh, it was uh, late in autumn when I started. 
because I think of it, it was snowing and freezing that night. <laughs> and I was hurrying. I had my pickup, okay? I had a pickup then, not a, not this beauty here. <laughs> uh, hang on, you're not even seeing it, eh? You can't see it still, eh? Yeah, there. This. <laughs> okay. Uh, I had a... <laughs> uh, hang on, I'm not even straight here. Oh my god. Okay, now we're set. Uh, <laughs> I had a pickup, eh? So, uh, if, to run this, I didn't have a... Where is it? Uh, it's not even here. A battery-operated sawzall. I didn't have... Wow. I think in those days, the battery tools were just starting to come out. and I don't even think that there was this hat thing again. <laughs> I don't think there was a battery sauce. But anyways, whether there was or not, I had a generator, small generator in my pickup, eh? And that was running, and uh, I used the sawzall to uh, cut the ABS that I was using for the underground. And uh, uh, shut. I was hurrying. So I had just done it, you know, because the first... When you do underground, you gotta shovel like the, the cement guys. They fill the they had done the footing, and they fill the basement full of rock. Now you gotta trench your rock, and wherever you're gonna put a drain or put a pipe going upstairs or whatever, you you dig and you put your fittings, okay? To and then a chunk of pipe going up, cause next thing they're gonna do the walls, and then they're gonna pour the basement. Anyway, and I was more or less, because the coal was coming, and I wanted the floor poured in the basement, eh? I didn't, I don't like uh, cutting holes in the first floor to send the cement in the basement, and then pouring it in the, like when the, it's cold outside. Anyways, ah, uh, <laughs> so, shut the generator, shut the tailgate, and, uh, I don't know, uh, I had a, a few boxes of fittings, eh? I had sent those over the tailgate. But I don't know, I must have had my Sawzall in my hand. I put it on the bumper, eh? And, uh... I, <laughs> I left... <laughs> go up the street. I left... I lived uh, maybe a block and a half away from the place next door. But uh, when I got there, I uh, unloaded the few boxes of fittings eh, in the garage because my truck was sleeping outside. And uh, I went to uh, get the uh, Sawzall. Where's my Sawzall? I said, I must have forgot it at the house. Come back to the house, look around, had a flashlight, look around all over the place. No Sawzall. Then I started thinking, eh? <laughs> You know, that gray matter. I was younger then, eh? So I didn't really have an excuse to forget. <laughs> now I have tons of excuses, eh? Anyways, uh, then I uh, more or less figured I must have put it on the bumper, but I never took it off the bumper to put it in the truck. <laughs> so when I had the corner, it's not too far from here, it's... Uh, Maybe 400 feet from here, there's a light. Well, when I uh, left <laughs> the light, that sawzall must have slid down the road. <laughs> and some, because I, I, when I come back, I seen it wasn't here. And then I went at the corner, I stopped the truck, and I looked out over a place, and there was no sawzall to be had. <laughs> so I figured some lucky guy seen it flying off the bumper but he he didn't take off after me I was long gone eh so he just pocketed the sawzall eh and there was a big loss <laughs> then uh, not to say that I had more money then than I do now but uh, it's still when you're building the house you you're keeping your coin for the house you don't want to be buying tools 
right and left just because you forgot it. <laughs> so that's the story. It's, uh, I had said, hey, it was a sad story. <laughs> the sadness was that I had to buy another one. And this is it. This, and it's the exact, exact same Sawzall that I had. And it was loaded up with blades, the same thing as this one here. Like I said, there's a lot more. You go buy Sawzall blades and see how fast a coin comes out. And there's all kinds, there's older blades in here too. Sawzall blades, for some reason, you don't, I throw some away. There's some like in here that I should throw away. They're full of tar, eh? They're not, because sometimes you get into some kind of, <laughs> bad spot. The ones that, <coughs> some that's real hard to saw, we could go through the blades here and the, there's older blades, like technology's changed through the years, eh? There's older blades and there's newer blades and they got, ah, uh, 2001, I, I'm just thinking there's some they claim, they claim diamond tipped. <laughs> Hey, you want to know something that's hard to cut? The <laughs> exhaust pipes on these limousines, eh? <laughs> you try and cut that. I think that's some kind of stainless, eh? The secret... Uh, this was going to be a topic for another day. I'm just going to... I'm going to tell you the story. When, there's something coming up, but I don't want to divulge it. Uh, I, I'm not even going to show you. <laughs> It's just in the back of me, eh? <laughs> the uh, topic for another day. But, uh, yeah, cutting uh, these exhaust pipes on vehicles there, that's that's a hard one to muster up the blades. It gives them a good test. And usually, you can throw the blade away once you're done cutting. <laughs> hey, folks, uh, I don't know why I meandered all over the place with this one. But... And it wasn't a working video, it was a story video. Uh, I just want to say, I'm sorry for my stories. <laughs> I know, I could be working, but uh, I could be cleaning my garage, that's what I could be doing. But, oh my God, <laughs> I don't want to even look, eh? <laughs> I don't feel like it. You know when it's going to be a good time? When the little birds start... <laughs> well, they're already tweeting <laughs> a little bit outside. When the weather gets warm, eh, then it's more encouraging to be cleaning. It's just so discouraging. <laughs> okay, folks, that's it. Eh? You give me some comments. Be kind, people, you know. <laughs> Thumbs up, so I know that you guys are watching. Eh? Those that give me thumbs up, I always say that at the end of the videos now. Eh? So those of you that are watching, give me a thumbs up. By the amount of thumbs up, I know how many people watch to the end. Eh? <laughs> really sneaky, eh? Some people give prizes and things like that. I don't got no money to give prizes. Eh? I can hardly have enough money to buy blades for my saws off. Okay, oh, hey, that's it. Enough said. I salute you all. Uh, comments are welcome. I try to give non-generic answers. And we'll see you in the next one.